Okay, here's our orange connection. Four minutes. See? Very good. Dress bright morning and night. What? Dress bright morning and night. Where'd you say that? On the bottom. <laughs> oh, you know this stuff. Yeah, I, <laughs> I got to tell you, I don't really, you know, I've kind of moved from Portland right now. You know what, I'm, I don't miss it. <laughs> I've really had enough of this city. There she goes, trying to track her work this time. Huh? I don't know what you see, but... Okay, we got the heat in this train. You want to go yell at him? Yeah, go yell at him. Tell him to put on the heat. No heat, no heat, no heat. He'll take care of the problem, Jason. I'm yeah. actually on the bridge that I railed against for years, this whole MLR project, which I thought was a giant waste of money. I'm actually riding it today. Interesting factoid about the bridges. How much does it cost the bridge? 150 million? I think it was 150 million. But the cost of the total light rail project was 1.5 billion. So the bridge was less than 7% of the project, which is kind of crazy when you think about it because they're, they're building a whole bridge and yet it's a very insignificant part of the entire MLR project. And it looks like a bridge. How about that? I never would have expected. Look. Welcome Portland Opera. Oh, look at how cute it is here. Now I guess we're on the other side here. It's well, yeah, both ends. Yeah. Go by boat. There it is. <laughs> Go by TriMet boat. There. <laughs> See, they're they're planning ahead here. So if we have a flood. We have a boat right there. You can abandon. You can abandon this uh, train for that boat. I don't know. Some boats look ridiculous, man. That's art. <laughs> so there it is, folks. The evil trimat. Boy, they did change it. it does look yeah. different. Of course, the, the trimat oligarchs have moved downtown away from the rabble because I don't want to deal with the rabble. They have to have their own office in downtown with all the other downtown types. Yes, I have this, this year was the streetcar shops? Yeah. Not the center garage? Yeah, somewhere on there. Jason just said that it's been a maintenance garage for over 100 years. So the old Road City Transit? Uh, yeah, well, the streetcars. You know, 100 years ago, they had streetcar shops here. They built streetcars, I think. They did? I think they built them. They definitely maintained them here. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, what we see here is a fairly empty train, as you can see. And, um... This is uh, the part that TriMet never tells us about. The empty trains that are running and off peak well, the roads are pretty empty too. So no, they're not. I just drove in. Well, look. Look at the I don't see a single car. <laughs> he doesn't see a single car. I see a single car. Not going south. They're probably stuck at a light. <laughs> Always the apologist. <laughs> No, I mean, this is a valid argument. I mean, they talk about light rail, light rail, light rail. But it does run at the same capacity as a late night bus for, you know, light rail, light rail. During peak, during peak hours, sure, you pack them more in. The rest of the time, not so much. 